Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to make you understand the concept of machine learning jargon free. I am going to tell you all the details that you need to know to just start in machine learning and also going to tell you how you should learn machine learning based on what you want to do. So everybody doesn't want to go into details, do coding, all the end to end things, right? Based on what you want to do, I am going to tell you how you can learn machine learning in the right way. Let's start guys without any delay. So guys, we will understand the concept in three areas. Okay. First area is what is the basic difference between software engineering and machine learning? Second area is we will understand some of the jargons that is used in the industry when it comes to machine learning. You should know these jargons. Otherwise, you will not be able to relate tomorrow when these terms come to you. Okay. And third is how to learn machine learning based on what you want to do or what is your objective. Okay. So I will go into more details of all these sections one by one. Let's start with the basic definition of how software engineering is different from machine learning. Okay. And my favorite question on this aspect is whenever I go to any machine learning class, I ask to people are computers intelligent. So some of them will say yes and some of them will say no. Not sure what is your answer. You can pause this video and think about it. Okay. Are computers intelligent? So the answer to that is by default. No, by default computers are dumb. Okay. It's not an intelligent machine. Why? Because it always works on the instructions that is given to it. How? Let's take a simple example. Suppose this is a Ola app. Okay. What is this app? This is a cab booking app Ola. In this cab booking app, what you enter, what you enter is your destination. For example, you want to go to Electronic City, Bangalore. So you will say something like this, right? This is one one code you want to give. Okay. So you take this code and then Ola tells you these are the cabs available and this will be the fare and all these things. Okay. So what is happening here is you are giving some data. Try to understand this carefully guys. You are giving some data and this data is getting combined with some instructions which is given by Ola engineers. Okay. Data plus instructions and then you are getting some output. This is the typical way in which computers work. So there will be some data. There will be some instructions in the form of code and then you will get some output. There is nothing intelligent about it. And hence I say that computers are dumb by default. Okay. It is just working on the instructions that you give. That's all. But what has happened recently or I will say in last 30, 40, 50 years is we are trying to make computers intelligent. Okay. And to make anything intelligent that is not by nature intelligent, there is a field of study known as artificial intelligence. Okay. So what is artificial intelligence? It is a field of study in which we feed intelligence into machines. Okay. And that is not a natural intelligence. We hence we call it artificial intelligence. In this artificial intelligence, there is a study known as machine learning. Now, let me give you one simple example and try to make you understand what is machine learning. Okay. So let us take some data for understanding purpose. And I will tell you what is machine learning on one column. I am keeping ice cream sales. Okay. And on other column, I am keeping temperature of the day. Okay. Temperature of the day. And here I will put, let's say 200 units of ice cream was sold when temperature was 35, 180 units was sold when temperature was 30. And let's say 100 units were sold when it was 20. So what is happening here, guys? Ice cream sales are coming down. People are not buying that much of ice cream when temperature is going down. Okay. This is the data in front of us. Now, what if I take this data and I ask to computer, hey, you are dumb by nature, but can you analyze this? Okay. Can you analyze this and try to learn something from this? So by looking at, you know, a layman can also look at this and say that, hey, there is a relation existing between ice cream sales and temperature. The same relation we want machine to learn. Okay. And that entire process of making machine learn the pattern 
whatever the pattern we observed now, this is a small data. So by looking at the data, we observed some patterns. But imagine if there are many columns, many rows, right? It will be a complex thing to observe by, you know, first look of a human or it will not be very easy to understand the pattern. So we need machines help in learning the pattern. And then that entire area of study is known as machine learning. Okay. So how machine learning is different from software engineering, guys? In software engineering, you take some data and you combine that data with some instructions to generate some output. In machine learning, what you do, you take some data and then you say to machine, hey, can you learn the pattern from this data? And machine learns the pattern. That process is called machine learning. Okay. Now, next question is, how does machine learn pattern? Okay. How machine learns patterns? Okay. So suppose guys, this is my favorite example. You want to go from Bangalore to Chennai. Okay. You want to go from Bangalore to Chennai. Okay. So you can do multiple things. You can take a bus or you can take a train or you can drive your own car. Anything you can do. So this is bus. Just I'm writing order maybe here and there. Bus, train or you can drive your own car. You can think like this. So there are three different ways in which you can go from Bangalore to Chennai. Similarly, when I say how machine learn pattern, there are n number of ways in which machine can learn the pattern. Okay. First way, second way, third way, fourth way, nth way, n number of ways in which machine can learn pattern. Okay. And all these n number of ways are known as nothing but algorithms. Okay. So now I have started touching upon some jargons of machine learning. This is called algorithms. Now at this moment, I want to take you to YouTube and show you something which will be really useful for you guys. So go here and you can go to Unfold Data Science YouTube channel. Okay. And you can look for one video called 10 machine learning algorithms in 45 minutes. Okay. Let me show you that video. That will be very, very useful video for you. 10 machine learning algorithms in 45 minutes. So what is explained in this video is all important machine learning algorithms. If you want to know how these work, right? So you can come and watch this 45 minute video. It will be very useful for you. So now I have told you what is the meaning of algorithms. Let's go ahead and try to break some more jargons of machine learning. Okay. In machine learning, there are jargons like training data. Okay. Training data. Then there is something called as test data. Okay. Algorithms I already told you. Still, let's write algorithms. Okay. And then there is something called as accuracy. Okay. And then there is something called as validation. Okay. So let's try to understand all these things one by one, guys. Now, what is training data? So as I told you, machine will take this data whatever data I have kept here, machine will take this data and try to learn the pattern of this data. So whatever data you are going to give to the machine to learn the pattern is called as the training data. So in this case, this data becomes your training data because this is the data you are taking and giving to the machine to learn the pattern. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of a test data? So test data is basically a subset of your entire data. So suppose, suppose, in the ice cream sales, you have total 10K records, okay? So what you can do is you can take 8K records for model training and you can take 1K record for model testing, okay? So what you can do is here 8K records, you can train your model and here 1K records, you can test. Test means how good your model is behaving. Now I'm using the word model again and again here. So I will write here model. Model is another term that you should know. What is model? So when the patterns are learned, then what is the output? That output is known as model. So what do you say to machine? You say to machine, take this data, learn the pattern and give a output. That output is nothing but your model. Okay. So once the model comes, then what you can do is you can ask to model, hey, this is my temperature of the day. What will be my ice cream sales? Okay. When you ask those kind of questions, your model should be able to answer. So that becomes your model. What is the purpose of testing data? Once you train your model, then on test data, you test how good is your model. That becomes your test data. Algorithms, I already told you. Algorithms is a way of learning of patterns. Okay. So you can learn patterns using algorithms. How to learn? Watch that video. 
what is accuracy accuracy is how close you are able to predict something so suppose suppose at 30 at 30 temperature 180 is the ice cream sales okay but when i ask to the model hey according to you now since you have learned the pattern so according to you at 30 temperature what will be the ice cream sales so that number can be let's say 189 that number can be let's say 178 both these numbers are not 180 it is a little far from 180 so whatever the difference or whatever the closeness from the actual value that is called as accuracy of your model okay and what is validation validation of your model is once you have built your model and you keep some records out okay so for example out of 10k records i can keep 1k records separately for validation okay so train test and validate you can create three sets like this on that validation set also you can see okay i have tested that my model is this much accurate now let me test on some more data and let me try to validate if my model is working fine okay so on different subsets of the data you are trying to test the goodness of your model that is called your validation okay so that is your model validation part so till now i have told you how software engineering is different from machine learning some of the jargons of machine learning i told you training data test data validation algorithm accuracy and model okay now the comes the question what you want to do and how to learn machine learning right this is pretty important how to learn machine learning now who what will be the categories of people who want to learn machine learning so maybe there is a data analyst who wants to learn machine learning just to understand how it works and all these things right maybe there is a manager uh, you know uh, who is just uh, taking some machine learning interviews to expand the team he or she wants to understand the details of how machine learning work etc maybe there is somebody who aspired to become a data scientist so i will write here data scientist okay data scientist so maybe somebody who is aspiring to become a data scientist they want to learn more of a machine learning so for all these three guys approaches will be different data analyst if, it, if they want to learn machine learning it may be a little high level managers if they want to understand machine learning it may be a little high level data scientist if you want to become it may be a little deep level or you want to know end-to-end uh, you know stuff of machine learning data science okay so for data analyst and manager kind of profiles if you want to know from the scratch what are the different components of machine learning how machine learning works how projects are executed if you want to understand at high level not going into much detail then i'm going to recommend unfold data science data science zero to hero so if you go to google and you search for unfold data science.com then a website will open for you in this website you just have to go and look for something known as data science zero to hero okay and there you will have from the scratch everything that you that you should know okay so for example this is your hindi course this is your english course in english course if you go then you will see all the details that you need to know is a part of this course okay so topic wise all the components of data science whether it is python or statistics or machine learning all these things will be there one by one if you see here okay introduction to data science python for data science statistics for data science sql for data science machine learning everything is here okay data science so i am saying here note if you think you are not a beginner in data science you may find this course as basic level so if you are not a beginner level you may find this at basic level if you are a beginner must take course you can go ahead and read the feedback guys many people have taken this course and gave very positive reviews so if you come into the category of a data analyst who want to understand more about uh, machine learning and data science or if you are a manager who want to understand things at high level please go ahead and take that course it's very good course for you okay if you are somebody who want to understand data science in more details okay this course is still relevant for you but there are more things that you need to learn and those things you have to learn topic wise okay so for example suppose you want to learn how to how to use uh, you know aws model deployment so you can go to youtube on full data science and you can just go to playlist okay and then you can go to your choice of playlist for example you can go for aws if you want to understand then you can go to aws if you want if you want to understand let's say something else for example sql for data science or for example 
anything related to machine learning if you want to know let's say calculate for machine learning or ensemble models or recommendation engine you can you can go to that particular video and learn from these playlists okay there are a lot of content which you will find very very useful on top of that keep an eye on unfolddata.com where you are going to get some more videos some more content adding very very soon okay so from these two places it will be a very good start for you to learn machine learning and everything around data science so guys i gave you all the details and answered three basic questions for you i hope you like the video if yes please go ahead and press the like button see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care